as Baker launches new jet power drone, aiming for air-to-air -air combat. Turkish defense firm Baker said its first jet-powered unmanned aerial combat vehicle, Yikev, completed its maiden flight on Wednesday, as the company continues to gain popularity globally, most recently by helping Ukraine's army fight Russian forces. Baker released a video showing the Kizella, Golden Apple Yukev taking off and then returning to an airbase which it said was in the northwestern Korlu province, 85 kilometers west of Istanbul. Flytrader data also showed an unknown aircraft with a by K7 call sign detected over Korlu Airport on Wednesday. The company's earlier Bayraktar TD2 drone has featured prominently in global conflicts, pushing Baker into the global spotlight and transforming it into a major manufacturer and exporter. International demand for Baker's propeller-driven drones soared after their impact in Syria, Ukraine, and Libya, where their laser-guided armor-piercing bombs helped repel an offensive by UAE-supported forces two years ago. Selka Bayraktar, Baker's chief technology officer, said in the video that Kizilma had successfully completed its maiden flight. The UK will increase the top speed and carrying capacity of the existing drones in Turkey, which have also played a prominent role in conflicts in Libya and northern Iraq. Turkey's new drone powered by a jet engine shows similar exterior features to fifth-generation fighter jets. Baker says in addition to conventional drone missions, Kizelma will be able to conduct air-to-air -air engagements. Malaysia and Indonesia had expressed interest in buying armed drones from Turkey, while 20 of them have been delivered to the United Arab Emirates. Baker is planning to complete the construction of its manufacturing plant in Ukraine, the only one outside of Turkey, in two years. After it got removed from the F-35 fighter jet program, Turkey converted its vertical takeoff aircraft carrier, which is still under construction into a drone carrier. The carrier will serve as a base for Kizilma and other drones in use by the Turkish military. The Turkish pioneering drone maker has announced its unmanned fighter jet had successfully completed ground tests as the landmark project inches closer to performing its maiden flight in the coming days. Named Kizelma, the National Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle System, NIS completed its first runway run and autonomous taxiing test at an airbase in northwestern Tekirdek province, according to a video shared by its developer Baker on Sunday. The test was overseen by Baker Chief Technology Officer, CTO Selka Bayraktar. The fast drone fighter jet Kizelma is said to represent a significant expansion of capabilities for slow-moving reconnaissance and missile-carrying drones. It will be capable of taking off from and landing on short runway aircraft carriers, including Turkey's flagship to be amphibious assault ship TCG Anadolu, which is expected to enter service next month. This feature is said to help extend Turkey's drone capabilities from land-based to naval operations. The landing helicopter dock, LHD type ship, TCG Anadolu is said to be the first of its kind in the world as a vessel that allows the landing of unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UKIVs on its dock. The autonomously maneuvering Kizelma will be capable of operating in tandem with piloted aircraft and may carry air-to-air -air missiles, the company said. The unmanned fighter jet is projected to conduct a multitude of military actions, such as strategic offensives, close air support, CAS, missile offensives, suppression of enemy air defenses, seeding destruction of enemy air defenses, day. Baker last year signed a contract with Evchenko Progress, one of the leading Ukrainian manufacturers, for the procurement of engines for the Mayas. Evchenko Progress was projected to supply the AI 322F turboffin engine for the jet under the agreement. The aircraft is set to feature a high operational altitude and takeoff weight of 5,500 kilograms, 12,125 pounds. It is envisaged to carry 15 tons of useful payload. It is projected to be capable of flying for 5 hours and reaching speeds of up to 800 kph, 500 mph, or Mach 0.64. Baker is the company behind the drones that earned fame for their critical role in several conflicts. Its director T2 Yukivs have been credited with helping tip the balance of conflicts in Libya, Syria, Karabakh, and lastly Ukraine. The drones proved to be instrumental in the country's defense against armor and anti-aircraft systems in the first few weeks of the Russian invasion. The battle proven TV2 is being sold to 24 countries including NATO member Poland, while the company signed deals with five countries for exports of its much larger sibling Akinsai, dubbed the most advanced and sophisticated drone built by Turkey. While the TV2 can lift off with up to 150 kilograms of missiles or equipment, the Kinsai, first delivered to Turkish Armed Forces last year, can fly much higher and take off with 10 times the weight. 
It is also working on TD-3, a short runway capable version of the TD-2. The new drone is expected to finish its testing phase by the end of 2023, according to the company's officials. Last year, Baker made up a fifth of Turkey's $3.2 billion in defense exports, according to data from the Turkish Exporters Assembly, TIM. The expanding order book is expected to net around $1 billion in export revenues this year, Baker CEO Halep Erector said last month, about 50% higher than last year's $650 million, with a further 50% growth expected in 2023. Turkey's first indigenous unmanned fighter aircraft Bayraktar Kizilma, developed by Baker Technologies, has completed its test takeoff in a video shared by Selka Bayraktar, the company's chief technology officer. We couldn't hold it on the ground any longer. Thank God, Bayraktar tweeted, sharing the Kizilma's departure from the runway in the moment of its rise. The drone was showcased at Technofest, Turkey's largest aerospace and technology festival in the northern province of Samsun, attracting great attention despite ongoing design and development efforts. Kizilma, whose engine integration test was carried out on SEP 19, successfully completed taxi and ground driving tests with safety ties first on NOV 20. Then, the first test runs without safety ties were directed by Bayraktar. On deck 3, the main flight test was carried out, announced by Bayraktar on Twitter, tweeting, We are holding it hard Bayraktar Kizilma swept its feet off the ground. Almost there, I hope. Kizilma is planned to make a difference on the battlefield, especially with its landing and takeoff capability on ships with short runways. Developed considering short runway ships such as the TCG and Adalo, Turkey's first LHD-class vessel, the fighter jet will play an important role in overseas missions thanks to this feature. It will have a low radar signature thanks to its design. Kizilma will be able to carry 1500 kilograms of payload, weapons and devices, etc. Its flight range is 930 kilometers, while the operating altitude was declared as 10,668 meters. It can operate in the air for 5 hours and has a maximum speed of 900 km h It will be equipped with the locally made active electronically scanned array, ESA radar. The first flight of Kizilla is expected to take place in 2023, according to Bayraktar. The Turkish drones got worldwide fame amid the second Nagorno-Karabakh war that broke out on Sep 27, 2020, between Armenia and Azerbaijan with Turkey. A rising drone power in the international arena supplied its ally Azerbaijan with UAV for use in the conflict and significantly contributed to Azerbaijan's victory.